Okay, welcome back to AP Stats. Again, I'm not affiliated with the College Board. This is Dr. Kling. And today I'm going to do a, a lecture that doesn't give any statistics. It just talks about some functions in the calculator, in particular functions involving lists. What we're going to do is the uh, problem where we work with the probability distribution where an ace is worth four points, king three, queen two, jack one, all the other cards are worth zero, and the probability of each of these is one thirteenth for the ace, king, queen, and jack, and then for the two through ten the probability is nine thirteen. Then we want to calculate these columns, um, I guess here and here. So let me just now show that using this fancy emulator. Okay, I'm not sure where you should put your eyes here. You might want to focus on what I'm doing on the calculator in here, or you might want to go over here to the key press history over here. And I'm warning you, I'm not very good with the calculator, so I may make a bunch of mistakes. Okay, so we want to do lists. And so I would think that since list is right over stat, you would do second list. But no, I found out you don't do that. You just click on stat, and then you click enter because we want to edit the list. Okay, and now I've already got numbers in these lists, so I want to go up to the top of the list move over to the left and then I want to clear the list. Let's see if I can do that. Clear. Clear. Nope, it didn't do what I expected it to do. Hang on. Okay, I had to do enter clear. So let's do that with list 2. Let's see if I can get over to list 2. Whoops. Let's go up, 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 go over to list two, let's do enter, clear. No, it didn't do what I expected to do either. How about clear, enter? There we go. Now we'll go up to the go over to the third list and do clear enter. Uh-huh. So now I have empty lists and now I'm going to enter the numbers. Uh first the x's, the four, three, two, one, zero. So four, three, two, one. Zero. Now I'm going to clear all this history, if you don't mind. And now I'm going to go over to list two. And I'm going to enter the P of X's. So I'm going to go down and do the first one. I'll do one over 13. And I'm just going to do the same thing in the others. There might be a faster way to do this, but anyway, I guess I got one more. If I forgot, let's say I forgot to do this. Suppose I did nine over thirteen. I go whoopsies. I didn't want to do that, so I go up. And I think I can do an insert. See, so you have over the delete key, you have the insert, second, insert, and now we'll do 1 divided by 13. Okay, so now I've got my whole list set up. So I have x, v of x, and now I want to get L3, second list, the third list, to equal x times p of x. I do L3 equals, and now I'm going to do 
it's just L1 times L2. So I'm going to do second L1 times second L2. Enter. And magic. Uh, I got the x times p of x. And now I want to get the sum of that. So here I'm going to bravely go to second stat. I'm going to go over to math. Okay, but I think I want to go back and pick the, well, let's see what happens. See, I've got this sum thing, so let's do sum. And then I'm going to do, whoops, I didn't want to do L3, 1 equals sum. Um, so let me clear. So hold on a minute. Okay, I was here, and now I'm going to do... I want to get out of this, I think. And now I'm going to do second stat. Go over to math. I'm going to do sum. So I'm going to go down to sum, hit enter. And now <coughs> I want to do L3, second L3, enter. Okay, and so that's my mean. That's how I found the mean, is the sum of x times p of x. And that will be useful. Let me go back to the, let's hope that stays in my answer. And so let's do stat. Edit. And let's go to L4. And let's go up. We'll do this equation. We're going to try to do x times. So x minus mu of x squared. So let's put a couple parentheses in here. I'm not sure how many parentheses I'll need. x was L1. Second. L1 minus, and the mean was the answer, so we'll do second answer. And then we're going to square this, so let's hope this works. And then we're going to multiply it times p of x, which was L2, second L2, and hope the best. Okay, and that's my, <coughs> that should be my variance, and then if we were to take this in the calculator. Okay, now, if I'm going to get the variance, I t need to take the sum of this. So let me get out of this with the second quit, second quit. And now I want to do a sum, so I think I do second stat math. Sum. And now we do L4, so second L4, and that gives me my variance, and then if we were to take the square root of that, we'd have the standard deviation. And that's pretty much everything I want to do with lists. Um, let me point out if we, that... Uh, there's this thing called stat plot, which um, if you go second stat plot, that will let you do different kinds of graphs of lists. So let me just do enter and see. Yeah, 
you can see the different types of plots. You may already know how to do this. I don't. I'm not all that familiar with it. Um, and the other thing you can do. Um, hang on. I think if you go to stat and then go over to calc, uh, you can these things that are it's called one var stats and two var stats. Let's try one var stats. See what it does. Um, let's try for list one. I don't. Know. Let's see what happens. Um, second. List one. Enter. Yeah, you get means and sums and standard deviations and things like that. So that's kind of interesting when you actually when you end up entering data into lists that may be useful at some point. All right, I think I'll end there and uh, talk about something else with the calculator next time.